Lady Charmaine, and my guest today is a stand-up comedian, television host, actor, and radio personality. He is also known for his prank calls and his church lady announcements. And he's here today to talk about the second season of his successful television show, The Ricky Smiley Show. Help me welcome to the show, Mr. Ricky Smiley. Hey, Ricky, how you doing? <laughs> Lady Charmaine, how you doing? I'm doing good. Glad to have you on the show. Hey, I'm glad to be on the show. Thank you so much for having me. You are so welcome. Now, Ricky, I got to say this. You and your frat brother, Steve Harvey, y'all trying to take over the entertainment industry. You're not leaving no room for nobody else. Now, all you need is a game <laughs> show and a talk show, and I think that's coming soon. What do you think? A game show, a talk <laughs> show, and... <laughs> Uh, uh, and a wife in, a, in another bank account. Okay, that's, yeah. I, I, yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll get me caught up with Steve a little bit. And uh, probably our best, uh, best-selling book. <laughs> okay, okay, we go. Yeah, we got to put all in there. We got a few more things, but I think you're on your well on your way because once we go into your resume, everybody will see everything that we're talking about. But Ricky, I read that you have two biological biological children and you adopted eight others. Is that true? Uh, well, you know, that includes nieces and nephews and, and different, uh, kids that I've raised over the years and stuff, you know, um, you know, like I, we have kids in our church come over and spend time, kids that lose parents and, uh, just have such a, a great extended family, um, mothers that have lost kids and, you know, and we just try to make them a part of our life and just try to be a blessing to other people and, you know, just try, just try to make uh, other people that's going through a lot of stuff, life better, you know. Uh, that's, that's what life is all about. Life is not about you. And life is about sharing and caring. That is beautiful. See, that's why you're so blessed, because you opened your heart up and because your hand is open to give, God is continuing to, to fill your hand so you can give it back out. Yeah, you, you, well, you can't receive a blessing with a closed hand. Amen. So, you know, yeah, yeah, it's always better to give, give than to receive. And I, I just thank God. Uh, I just asked God, you know, years ago to just put me in a position where I could be in a, be a help to others. And that's what my whole life has always been about. Even when I didn't have anything, I was always making room to try to help kids in the community that, uh, just kind of needed some, some love and some assistance, whatever. You know, I got a lot of young men that I put in some time into their life. That's, that's grown now. Mm. So, um, you know, I just, I, I just, you know, I just do it just because it needs to be done, you know. That, that's Not a blessing. Not anything in return. Yes, ma'am. That's a blessing. And, and we're going to speak of one of these wonderful blessings. You have a brand new television show on TV One. You're in your second season, The Ricky Smiley Show. Congratulations on your show and the success of your show. Oh, thank you very much. I'm excited about it. Um, it's the second season, and uh, you'll get a chance to see me do a lot of characters other than just the church lady, you know. So uh, it just, the show was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to do uh, with Ray J and J. Anthony Brown and Nori Victoria and Roz Ryan from Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just a blessing and a pleasure to get a chance to work with some wonderful people. And I'm really excited about the second season which starts uh, at 9 Eastern, and, um, and we're going to show two brand new episodes. So, uh, so get ready. <laughs> <laughs> now, were you uh, surprised with the success of the first season? Because I know some people are looking for big success, and some people are kind of looking for um, you know, moderate you know, and hoping it grows. What were you expecting from your first season? Uh, I, I expected a little more from the first season. And I think the fan, my fan base expected a little more. It, it just, it was, the first season was okay, uh, you know, but, but, you know, people just wanted, they felt like it just wasn't me. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to, to know that my stamp was on it because that was my first time. And, and that's how most uh, sitcoms start out. You know, it's your first time and it takes you a minute to get your footing, you, you know, your footing. But now that I got my footing, you know, I can really, I can really knock this out, mm. and um, and have a good time. You know, just doing doing what I do. So this particular season, um, most of these episodes was based around uh, my concept, and 
Uh, I added a whole lot to it. I spent a lot of time in the writing room, spent time with the writers and communicated with the writers, which is so important. And uh, and I'm really excited about it. So for so, you, so you would definitely see the difference. Oh, because I love the show because I DVR the show. So I watch the show and I, and I look forward and I love J. Anthony Brown. And he knows that and I love his character uh, on the show. <laughs> he is hilarious. So he already told him that. But I wanted to know, how did the whole idea for a television show even come about for you? Uh, well, you know, being that I work for Radio One and uh, they have TV One mm-hmm. and uh, we had uh, hooked up with Roger Bob and a writer and we had we got to take the idea to someone else, and uh, Alfred Lincoln was like, well, you know, I have ra- I have TV one. Let's just use our radio show to promote the TV show, and you just kind of stay over here with us. So I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> it sounded like a good idea. That sounded like a winner. And that's what we did, and we made it happen. So we use our radio to promote our TV show. And, um, and, and so now... Um, you know, we, we come on every Friday. They bought 26 episodes, and and they're great. Trust me on this one. They're funny. So we just, this time, we just went for the funny, mm-hmm. and we just wanted people to just be outright laughing. So, you know, I'm a comedian, and people wanted a comedy. They, they, they was okay with the whole idea of your father and kind of like the Bill Cosby thing, but uh, they wanted to move a little bit faster and be a little bit, funny so that's what we gave them and uh i'm glad i did it because i was skeptical i really didn't want to do a sitcom mm. uh at first but now you know when you start get a little old i've been in the game 25 years to establish your legacy so a sitcom is a perfect way to establish your legacy and you know there we go did you have a hand in hand picking the cast for your show oh yes definitely definitely um um one actress, I think, is going to be a breakout star, and I look uh, to see her on some other stuff. It's uh, Asiana Alexis. Uh, she's actually from my hometown, Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, I didn't know that uh, that was one of my biological daughter's friends. Mm. You know, um, so I was like, wow. So, uh, so we picked her, and she's attending Alabama School of Fine Arts. Great actress, and she can sing. Or whatever. So we're gonna uh, the next season we're gonna expose uh, some of her talent, and, and uh, so I'm excited about that. And uh, Gabri- uh, Gabrielle Burgess, the, the little kid, great, wonderful kid that can dance and and he act pretty good. And uh, you know it's just a blessing to have him on the show. And uh, of course Roz Ryan from A Man, mm-hmm. and she just got a history of Broadway shows, and, you know, stuff like that. And Jazz and the Brown and uh, Ray J. A uh, uh, good friend of mine, but I'm friends with uh, his parents, um, his mother, Miss Sonia Norwood, uh, and his dad is my friend, brother. Uh, Ray J's dad is a member of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated and uh, kind of came out of the same chapter. Mm. So, you know, I had to look out um, look out for Ray J. And uh, he, Ray J is a great, great, great actor, and mm-hmm. he's really funny and have a lot of experience and so underrated and should be doing a whole lot of movies. So it was a blessing to have Ray J uh, on the show. So uh, we just had a real good time. It was fun. I think this season right here is going to be the season, and I think everybody's going to be watching. (laughs) Oh, I look forward to that. But I want to kind of toot your horn a little bit, Ricky, because just hearing your story, and Ebony Steele was on the show last year talking about your show, Dish Nation. And how you came back and got her and how you kept your word. And I'm just listening to you as you talked about the young girl from your hometown. And then you talked about Ray J because, you know, it's family. And and one thing I want to talk about is the loyalty that you have to people that you know. I thought that that was so great. And I wanted to commend you on that and how you really help people in your own personal community. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's always good to look out for people from your hometown, but they... You know, and uh, you know, make no mistake. They have to have the talent, and they have to have the the, the willingness to do to do the hard work mm-hmm. and the long hours, and and just get with it and um and do a good job. And you know, I'm and I might be a little harder on the people that's from my hometown because uh, we just can't, you know, we can't be looking bad. <laughs> so uh, I kind I probably kind of give them give them the devil a little bit, as my granddad <laughs> would say. <laughs> 
but 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 they 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 have done a good job, and uh, Ebony has stepped up to the plate, been a great co-host on the morning show, been with us for some years now, and um, so you know I'm excited. She kind of bring uh, a, the voice of reason to the morning show. And uh, we go back to teen. Uh, we've been knowing each other since we were teenagers. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so we kind of ran in the same circles in high school. So it's just a blessing to have Ebony on the show. And Ebony's dad is my frat brother as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the Omega Psi Phi Delta Sigma Theta family kind of keep it tight. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Make everybody want to go be a Q dog. Run around here. Yeah. <laughs> Join the family. <laughs> Showing the purple and gold. I know that's right. (laughs) And I want to talk about your show, A Dish Nation. How did Dish Nation even come about? Because you have so much going on, and now you got Dish Nation. How did that even come? Did somebody just, you know, hear your radio show and say, man, we love you, and we got to put this on the radio, on television? Uh, A guy named Stu um, reached out to a talent on my show, my sports guy. And um, Stu had the idea. We was like, because uh, we were trying to do something like that on our own, uh, get somebody to come in and film the morning show. And we were just going to put it on the Internet when somebody came and said, hey, uh, we could really do this for real. Mm. And uh, and they came, and uh, and it, it just it just worked out, and it's been working. And I'm kind of glad we did that because it kind of put the morning show on the map. Um, you know, it kind of put us out there. Uh, you know, on um, on a platform where we never would have been before. Right. So it's it's a it's a win win, um, and we get a chance to work with other morning shows who we actually compete against. And but but now we get to work with them and develop a personal relationship with your competition because now y'all share the same television space. Mm. And I think it's a great and smart thing. And uh, I'm excited that they that uh, Radio One allowed us to, uh, you know, make a decision. You know that they made a decision to do this because this is a really smart move because it introduced us to a whole another audience that probably never would have listened to us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Was, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know what you mean. And that was a wise move. That's what I was getting ready to say. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was yeah, a wise yeah. move on your part and also on Radio One's part. And and for Stu, who came and got y'all and added y'all to the mix, because it does open you up to a broader audience. I want to know, what is next for you, Ricky? What else do you have in store? What else do you see for the Ricky Smiley brand? I ought to be on the Deacon board at my church. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, I have... Um, uh, you know, getting ready to work on my new stand-up uh, to do an open casket shark too. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> I'm really excited about that. If you haven't seen my live in Atlanta, so to, to get ready to do another one and uh, to put the material together and to write it and and produce it and make it happen, I'm seriously excited about that. That's going to be a pretty big deal. Uh, hopefully, I can get a game show. I know that's <laughs> right. Uh, hey, uh, uh, Steve, if you ever get tired of Family Feud, uh, how at your boy. I know that's <laughs> right. <laughs> Fill in. Look. Yeah. <laughs> kind of sick day. Okay. Just call your brother. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that'll be a lot of fun right there. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, you know, just, just working and, and performing all over the country, you know, uh, doing my stand up. And that's pretty much it, you know. Well, though, that sounds like quite a bit. Do you now? Do you have a desire to do movies at all? Uh, I, I'm actually in a movie coming out called Banks Claim with David E. Tall, but yeah. they already promoted. Now, yeah, that's going to come out this fall. And I'm so excited about that, and uh, I'm sure there'll be other movie opportunities uh, to come out. So I'm really looking forward to that. So yeah, you would definitely see me in some more movies. Um, so I'm I'm excited about that. But I just just got you know just got to kind of stay focused on this TV show a little bit, make sure that it works, and um, and blow it up and do it to the best of my ability and get a little bit more acting acting experience under my belt. I got a long way to go, um, you know, to try to get that that acting thing down. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not hard, but it's not easy. Um, you know, 
because I do radio in the morning and to leave the radio show to go to a set to do a TV show, you know, it, it that's a real grind right there because mm-hmm. sometimes you get off at 1 o'clock in the morning only to be back up at 5 in order, to, uh, you know, to be on the radio again. Mm-hmm. So, it, so it's definitely a grind to take a lot of discipline and uh, you have to, be, you know, be really focused. And energy, because you need energy to be behind the mic in the morning time so people can feel you. And, and then you got to go and you got to have energy to de- be able to deliver your lines. You can't sound tired. Right. You know, so you having to having that, that energy balance of having to keep it up and basically, as they say, having to be on all the time. Right. Because <laughs> right. you, you can't be off. <laughs> you That's cannot right. be you off. You got to be on. On all the time, and when you get a break, you have to go somewhere and curl up and take a real nap. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, take a real nap. And, uh, you know, once you do that, you, you just on to the next level. See, that's all right, though. But thank God you have that work ethic and God is able to trust you with that. So that's good because I know there's more that's going to be coming your way because you've just been a blessing to so many people. And if somebody wanted to follow you, are you on any social networks, Facebook, Twitter? Yeah, you can come to my, um, uh, or you can go to rickysmiley.com. I have a brand new website, uh, rickysmiley.com. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, at rickysmiley. Yeah, so follow Yeah, follow me on Twitter, at rickysmiley, and uh, I'd be happy to have you. The doors, <laughs> the doors of the social network is open. Will you come? No, that's right. <laughs> Well, I just want to remind everyone to make sure that you tune in to TV One this Friday, July the 26th. We want you to tune in to catch off the kickoff of the second season of the Ricky Smiley Show, 9, 8 Central, only on TV One. Thank you so much, Ricky, for coming on the show. Hey, thank you so much, and I appreciate this opportunity, and you have a blessed day.